Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nathan here, and today I've come up with a problem from Pathfinder. It is uh, Chapter Three, Bill BYU Three. It's from Work Power Energy, and uh, we'll be using a center of mass frame in order to solve this problem. It's a smart solution, and uh, here you can see the problem statement. Two small identical discs, each of mass m 1 kg is uh, placed on a frictionless horizontal floor are connected by a light inextensible cord of length L and uh, L value is given as 1 meter. Now the midpoint of the cord is pulled perpendicular to the line joining the centers of the disc by constant force of F. So here this F uh, force is applied and value of force F is also known to us. What is the velocity of approach of the disc? when they are about to collide guys liking sharing subscribing is love so keep liking keep sharing and keep subscribing so here uh, let's discuss the solution part of this now this problem will be difficult to solve from uh, ground frame as too many variables are uh, involved in that however it becomes very easy uh, by center of mass frame and also it's quite uh, decent by using force method but that is also slightly lengthy However, this method is quite simple. So let's discuss here uh, that initially this uh, since constant force is applied. So center of mass will be having a acceleration of F by 2m which remains constant and initial velocity of center of mass is zero. So here we can uh, see the center of mass is moving with a constant acceleration and with zero initial velocity, right? In center of mass frame, particle will be moving towards the center of mass along a straight line path as the net force on the particle along x direction in cm frame is zero let's verify this fact here so i'm just uh, showing some uh, instance so this is the initial moment so in center of mass frame i have to apply pseudo force on each masses so m into acm uh, by the way this value will come as f by 2 all right uh, so here we can uh, see now at any time t the situation is somewhat like this and uh, let's say at that instant a string is making some angle of theta here so first thing i can write is this force f in terms of tension that f is equal to 2t cos theta all right here now you can see here this particle uh, will have tension of t in this direction and m into acm in this direction so if you see here this t cos theta this value is just balancing it so t cos theta is equal to m into acm uh, just uh, substitute the value of m acm because uh, acm is f by 2m so m into acm is f by 2 so you can see here that t cos theta is f by 2 that means on this particle in horizontal direction net force is 0 and due to t sin theta this particle will be moving in this direction all right and similarly we can say the same thing for this also at this moment this distance is l cos theta l by 2 cos theta sorry this length is l by 2 so finally when they are about to collide uh, the relative velocity in cm frame uh, will be v and v so velocity of approach here is going to be 2v and this distance becomes l by 2 so now we can apply uh, work energy theorem from the center of mass frame so on each particle on the combined system i can apply so we have to consider pseudo force work done we have to consider tension t and we have to consider the work done by this force also in center of mass frame so work energy theorem in cm frame i can write wf plus uh, w pseudo plus w tension is equal to change in kinetic energy all right so we already we can see here since pseudo force is perpendicular to the path followed by the particles in cm frame so pseudo force will not do any work tension also overall cannot do any work right so it is the only force f which will be doing work here so you can see here in this case uh, pseudo force doesn't do any work in cm frame as displacement is perpendicular to the pseudo force we have already discussed about this so this term is zero this term is zero this term is zero and wf i can write simply in cm frame that is going to be force f it's a constant force and this distance is uh, l by 2 so f into l by 2 
f into l by 2 and uh, this is 0 this is 0 k final is half mv square plus half mv square and uh, further we can simplify that we are going to get this v value is uh, root of fl by 2m and v approach will become double of this so 2v so this answer will become a root 2fl by m this is going to be the final answer for this problem and uh, you can substitute the values and you can verify i hope you have enjoyed this approach and it would have given some new insight about this problem and overall center of mass frame also if that is the case please leave a like share this video with others and i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing video thank you